Hello, my dear students. Welcome to English for Informal Interaction. Kali ini kita akan mempelajari tentang new context pada unit 1. Di sini tujuan kita adalah first make a good first impression. Ingat ya, kesan pertama itu selalu penting. First impression is always the foremost thing in connecting with people. If you failed to make a good first impression in the first time you are meeting each other, you are bumping each other, then it could screw the success of building a network because people tend to assume bad first impression is a sign of bad connection but it doesn't guarantee the success as well so be sure we learn how to make good first impression and then our next goal is to greet people I've never you or nev you've never met before so sometimes few uh, if you of us have uh, some challenging to meet other people because we are we feel discouraged to having a new contact making friendship with new person because we fear that we are going to be rejected but here we should learn about this because it is very important for us because it will help you make good con communication with others so study focus at conferences, networking events, and even in the office, wherever you do business, you will meet new people. Benar kan? Setiap kita kemanapun, kita pasti akan ketemu orang baru. Jarang sekali kita tidak bertemu orang baru. Particularly when we are living in urban cities, we always meet new people. But sometimes we ignore each other. We don't make eye contact even we don't make small talk how do you make a good first impression so now the question is how do you make a good first impression do you usually successful in making good first impression apakah kalian pertama kali berkenal dengan orang lain itu langsung bisa memberikan kesan yang bagus atau karena saking malunya you are typical of a shy person then you are you prefer to keep everything to yourself this is something that you need to know that a warm and friendly greeting will help you jadi kita belajar untuk tersenyum ramah menyapa it going it's it's going to help you it's going to help you using small talk to start the conversation will help too Ya, tentu saja. Small talk is everything. It is the key of successful conversation. So, never hate small talk. Even some people, especially the introverts, may get away with small talk, but sometimes we should push our boundaries to engage ourselves, communicate with others using small talk. Try to make sure that people remember you and try to remember them. Apakah kalian pernah berkenalan terlalu berusaha keras untuk mengingatnya? It is a good sign that you are a good person. You want to make people appreciate it by the way you remember them. You might not hear their name properly the first time. And in this chapter, you will learn how to ask people to repeat their name. Ada beberapa komunikasi pertama, nih, making the first move. Nah, gimana nih caranya kita yang berinisiatif berkenalan dengan orang baru? Bukan menunggu orang baru untuk berkenalan dengan kita, kitalah yang dulu untuk memperkenalkan diri kita. So, what should you do? I don't think we've been introduced. Kayaknya kita belum itu ya belum berkenalan ya gitu. So you may use that 
I don't think we've been introduced. My name's Hans. Hans Killer. Nama saya Hans. Nama lengkap saya Hans Killer. Atau mungkin Anda bisa langsung Hi, I'm Mary, Mary Smith. Boleh seperti itu. Hi, I'm Joko, Joko Smith. Siapa tahu namanya Joko ya? Atau mungkin ada satu hal, satu contoh lagi. Hmm, we haven't actually met. Nah, di sini ya. But I'm Hans Schiller. Kita belum ketemu ya kayaknya. Tapi nggak masalah. Kenalkan, saya Hans Schiller. Jadi langsung ya. We haven't actually met. Kita belum pernah ketemu, tapi tidak masalah. But I'm Hans Schiller. Saya Hans Schiller. May I introduce myself? Anda boleh berkata seperti itu ketika Anda ingin berkenal dengan orang lain. So you 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 should say you should say may I introduce myself. Boleh saya berkenalan? I'm Mary Smith. Atau boleh juga pakai kata-kata seperti ini. I don't think we've met. I'm Mary Smith. Uh, saya rasa kita belum pernah ketemu ya sebelumnya. Kenalkan saya Mary Smith. Nah, itu adalah beberapa contoh frasa yang bisa kita gunakan when we want to make the first move. We want to build connection with others with a strange one without getting nervous. Silakan dihafalkan ya agar bisa terbiasa. Lalu bagaimana? Bagaimana cara merespon dengan baik? Giving the right response. Caranya bagaimana berkata untuk berespon yang baik? Ketika seseorang mengajak Anda berkenalan, orang yang baru, so you may respond that with by saying, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, senang ya, senang bisa kenalan. Ya. It's a pleasure to meet you. Please to meet you, senang bisa berjumpa dengan Anda. Atau bisa juga, it's good. To meet you Atau It's great to meet you Atau bisa juga It's nice to meet you Senang berjumpa dengan Anda Dan bisa dibalas kemudian It's good to meet you too Great Nice Whatever Lalu Bagaimana caranya Kita mengecek nama Ada beberapa Ada empat frasa yang bisa kita gunakan I'm sorry But I didn't catch I didn't catch your name. Maaf, saya nggak nggak nangkep tadi saya nggak nangkep namanya siapa gitu. Jadi misal biasanya, for example, when you are getting along with a new person from Russia, which who are famous with some difficult names, then you find it is challenging to repeat his or her name. You may say. I'm sorry, but I didn't catch your name. Maaf ya, saya nggak tangkap namanya siapa tadi. Yeah, that's the polite way. Or you may say, I'm sorry, but what was your last name again? Nah, misal kalau anda nggak bisa menangkap namanya secara detail, you may ask that question. Atau bisa juga, How do you spell your name? Gimana cara mengeja nama kamu? Gitu. Athanasius, am I saying it correctly? Athanasius, apakah saya udah benar ngomongnya? Kadang kita sering keliru menyebut namanya orang lain. That's why checking names sometimes is necessary. And the last one, helping people to remember your name. Kadang ketika begitu bertemu dengan banyak orang you have interaction with a variety of people from different races different religions from different countries then it could be challenging to remember everyone by the names so if you aware of that then you you may suggest you may help the ones you get along with And try to make sure they remember your name. Please call me John. Boleh seperti itu. Panggil saja saya John. Let me give you my business card. Oh, ini saya kasih kartu nama saya. Itu adalah cara tepat untuk biar mereka tetap ingat dengan Anda. Oh, here's my business card. Ini kartu 
uh, nama saya gitu. 